Hey there, paisanos! It's time to review some cardboard. Or should I say, a cardboard box? Or should I say, a NECA $100 loot box? Yes, so if you've been following some of my other blind bag videos, you may know that I like to go to Walmart and Best Buy, and currently NECA is putting their Loot Crate Overstock into these blind bags for 10 bucks, and I am picking them up and opening them up because I love what's inside. The value is currently 5 to 10 times what you pay for each blind bag. And they've recently changed their contents, which is good because I kind of I was kind of getting sick of the same stuff for five months, as as indicated by the fact that I don't want to do those blind bag videos anymore because I wasn't having as much fun with those. But right now, right now, in addition to everything that you can find in the loot bags, you all you can, you also have a chance of finding one of these. A $100 value worth of NECA and Kid Robot product coupon. For one of these. And yeah, I'm comfortable with showing you this one because I've already used this one. So you can try to use this one, but uh, good, luck, good luck with that. Yes, in certain bags, actually in very specific bags, there are certain bags that have these, but they are a little harder to come by. I'll give them that. But in some bags, you can find this. And then once you send in the code and proof of purchase to the, to the little email address down there, then they will send you one of these. And on the back it says, uh, from the 1st of May to the 31st of August, limit one per customer. That is debatable. I am going to try to get another one. I am going to see if I can find another one of these and... Hey, I, I can get a, I, I can probably get them as a gift for a friend. Why not? There's nothing that says that I can't. Well, I'll just give them their name and their address and provide per, provide proof that I bought these things. I mean, I can pay in cash, and who's going to trace that? And, well, why, why wouldn't they honor that? But for now, this one is mine. A $100 value box. I cannot believe that this actually arrived. I sent in my details and I received no confirmation. And a few days later, it arrived. So yeah, I am excited. I am excited. But first, uh, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to do this, but I figure that if the blind bags have changed since I last talked about them, then why not just show you what, what else you can get in these blind bags? Some of it is very valuable, so let's go over what, what else you can get really quickly. You can get Adult Swim Vinyl, Mister, Vinyl Mini Series 2 blind bag vinyl figures. A lot of these are very valuable and much more than what you pay for the box, as I say, for the bag, as I say. A Pac-Man Ghost tote bag or drawstring bag, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cute, not much, not worth a whole lot, but it's something to keep around. Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble salt and pepper shakers. I've I've featured these before, but apparently they're coming out with new, uh, coming out with similar contents to some bags that I've done a couple years, a couple months ago. Which hey, that's fine. It's fine. They have, they have some good stuff in those. Night of the Living Dead tote bag. I have not checked to see if this glows in the dark yet, but I will because why not? Harry Potter Mirror of Erised collectible. Yes, it is a small scale collectible, small scale re reproduction of the one seen in the movie. Very nice, very valuable. A Caco Demon Stress Ball. These are actually some of the most valuable things in, the, in these bags. These can go from $30 to $50. And they are absolutely adorable. They are a little tougher than I like my stress balls, but these aren't for me, so I'm sure somebody loves them. Mega Man Lanyard. Yes, I've also featured these. These are not the greatest quality, but there are people out there who want them. A Back to the Future Time Machine collectible keychain. These are valuable. You can uh, these go for about twenty or thirty dollars, brand new. I might have to keep one of these because why not? They, these are awesome. Nuka-Cola air fresheners, cherry air fresheners. I am tempted to keep one of these for myself because I would love to put one of these in my in front of my fan. But one, would I be comfortable with smelling cherry cola for hours at a time? And two, these are worth quite a bit of money. So I guess I'm going to sacrifice personal gain. Well, personal, personal preference, per personal satisfaction. I don't know, personal something, whatever you want to say. Star Trek cable ties. 
I do not know why anyone would come up with this, but, um, I don't know. I don't think I'm even going to get rid of these. I'm just keeping them around just in case. A Doom Blood Ice Pack Set. How can you not love one of these? These, these are one of these cold packs that you freeze and you put on your owies, and <laughs> it's a blood pack with the Caco Demon. Very low res uh, images, unfortunately, but... Still, still useful, still useful. I featured one of these before, they're not bad. A Fallout Crate, a scavenged pin. Maybe they have more of these, but this is all I found from the uh, from the Fallout Crate, from the bags containing Fallout Crate stuff. It's pretty cool. Don't really have any use for it, but I'm sure somebody will. A Yumi bottle opener slash button slash, slash something else. Um. Now I don't remember what, what it is. It's a bottle opener and a button, and I don't remember what else it is. Eh, not something I want to keep around. I don't even know what Yumi is. It's some sort of anime, but I don't watch anime. Most anime, anyway. In fact, uh, the anime that I do watch is Egretzko, and I ha and I also found Egretzko keychains in there. And I am keeping these because I do love me some Agretzko. These are actually hard to find, but I, lo I love the character and I love the show, so I'm keeping these. That is what you can find in these bags and what I have found in these bags, and I could not be happier. But now let's get on to our main feature. What is inside this box? There are no markings. It is just a regular cardboard box. Um, I have opened it very briefly just to see what's inside, uh, hence the tape, but just to see if there, uh, just to see what it is, just to make sure that it is what I thought. I just open and close it, so I technically have no idea what's in here. So I'm going to clear this, uh, I'm going to clear this all off. Unfortunately, hmm, well I guess I can open it, but then I have to put this box aside because there is not enough room in my unboxing area, so... I will be with you in one minute. Might as well also point out this Wolf Link Amiibo and these Finders Keepers Mystery Egg Hot Wheels figures that I found. Not from one of these loot bags, just from today's discount and thrift shopping. Also forgot to point out that there are a few other things you could get in those bags, like Harry Potter socks and Team Fortress 2 pins and those Yumi iron-on badges, and of course the themed pins that Loot Crate likes to do. I, I gave those away because I have no use for those and they have absolutely no value, but I'm sure somebody who picks them up will find them, will, will have use for them. All right, I have opened the box, so this is what the top of the box looks like. And it's completely covered up by a Jack Skellington. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We will figure out what's in this box as we go. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. <clears throat> All right. I am just going to blindly reach into the box and talk about everything that I can find in there. Starting with, of course, the inflatable Jack Skellington thing. Is this all there? Is it all? Is this all that is an inflatable Jack Skellington? Oh no, it's not inflatable. It's uh, faux leather. There's Nightmare Before Christmas. I guess this is just a Halloween decoration. This is just a faux leather Halloween decoration, which that's still pretty good. A little bit squishy. Um, nice sewing lines. Pretty okay. I don't really have any use for it. I don't, I wonder if it's worth anything. If it's not worth anything, then I know that my sister is crazy about the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. She might like this. Um, any other markings? Here's the tag. NECA, of course. 2007. Wow, 2007. This, ooh, that predates Loot Crate, doesn't it? That, that This is before all the mystery boxes and everything. 2007, that's about when I moved to Missouri way back when, before I, before I finally smartened up and moved to Utah in 2012. Hey, I, I didn't say that I fully smarted up. Ah, uh, pretty good. Oi, Jack, the Harlequin Queen. That was the, that was the outtake that they decided not to use because it made absolutely no sense. Okay, you go over there. And next we have 
a Harry Potter Welsh Green Dragon plush. Hmm. Not a huge Harry Potter fan, but this is a nice plush. This is a very nice plush. The mouth doesn't open, unfortunately. The eyes, the eyes are, eh. The closeness of the eyes to the mouth does not look right. That just looks, it looks like it's been squished. Harry Potter and the Squished Dragon. Hey, why not have that for the title of the next Harry Potter book? Oh, I'm sure they're, I, I, don't tell me that they're done making Harry Potter books. I'm sure that she'll make another one when everyone's, when she runs out of money and when everyone's stopped calling her turf. I, I don't know. I, I'm, 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 I'm out of that argument myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Dragon Plush. I am not a huge Harry Potter fan. I, I read the first four books. I just could not get into the fifth book. And by and then a couple years went by and I just went, wait a minute, this book series is stupid. Sorry, that's just my opinion. What is the year? Any years? Mm, no, no, just NECA and Harry Potter. I'm just... So I'm assuming that this is all, that this is more than just NECA loot crate overstock. This is NECA in general overstock. This is just stuff they've had crowding up their warehouse for literally decades, and they threw it into a box and gave it to the first poor sucker to send in one of those coupons. Which hey, if you're just giving this stuff away to anyone who has a coupon, then. Give me all of it. I, I, I will gladly find the coupons that I need. I know exactly which bags to open that will have the coupons. So can I just send in all the coupons and get all the boxes? I will gladly take everything you have, NECA. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to randomly send this stuff to everyone. Just give it all to me. I will put, I will put it to good use. Or I will give it to my local thrift store. Either way, it's going to good use. Anyway, plush, not bad, have no use for it. I don't know any I don't know of anyone who would have any use for it, but yeah, I'll just give it to the thrift store and if it's not worth anything on eBay, I'll just give it to the thrift store and I'm sure somebody will enjoy it. Oh god, I just saw this one and oh, no, 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 please no. <sighs> Ch -ch 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 oh my god. No, 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 are we really at that point? Ch Chia pets, they're giving away Chia pets of Guardians of the Galaxy. No, <sighs> Chia pets, just in case your pet rock was too exciting. Okay, um, yeah, Chia Pet, Guardian of the, of the Galaxy, at least this one makes sense, at least you do get, uh, it's Groot, it's, actually no, no, it doesn't even make sense, because Groot does not have green hair, he has no hair, so no, even the greenery growing out of his head does not make sense in this case, even though he is a plant being, that does not make sense. But yeah, yeah, it's just a Chia Pet, just, uh, plant, uh, plant some... Plant some soil mixture on the top of his head, plant some seeds in it, watch it grow, and then watch it die and toss it away, for wondering where your money went. Uh, easy to do, fun to grow, I beg to differ on both. Same sign, and uh, let's see, grow a Groot. Chia Pet Groot, hand handmade pottery planter, Chia seed packet, plastic drip tray, Ch -ch -ch Chia, bo -bo -bo bull crap. Um, let's see, 2018. Uh, germination tested July 19th, sell by July, oh, it's out of date, oh, no, wait a minute, no, 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 it's out of date, it is out of, I have received an out of date Chia Pet, ooh, ooh, I am so blessed, I would throw this across the room, except it will probably break, and I'm sure there's somebody who would, somebody in the world who would, who is sad and desperate enough to want one of these. Maybe I'll try, maybe I'll see if my sister is interested, but if the seeds are expired, then she's probably not, she probably won't even want it. So, huh. yeah, this is probably thrift store fodder. I am Groot. And that, that is Groot for get this crap out of here. All right. I thought the Chia Pet was bad. Fidget Spinner. Generic 
fidget spinner. Oh, a glow in the dark hand spinner. Oh, now it's worth the entire universe. Uh, now, now I need to pay my entire life savings to get one. It's, it's generic. There is no markings. It's not even Transformers or Guardians of the Galaxy or some other odd theme that they've been doing with these things. It is a, so, I can get these, I can literally get these at my local thrift store for 25 cents. That is how much overstock these things had. This is, that, that we, it was a stupid fad to begin with, and now, and now everybody is trying desperately to forget that it ever existed, and they're doing everything that they can to get, <sighs> here, let's open it up, and, uh, well, it's got some balance. Got some good balance. It's 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 uh, it's, it's a decent spin. I'll get, I'll give you that at least. All right. Does it glow in the dark? One minute. I am going to say that is a negative. At least it's not. It's not. It's not turning up on the camera maybe it'll turn up when the video is processed can can anybody see that great wonderful not only is it a fidget spinner it is a broken fidget spinner that is completely okay as a fidget as a, as a fidget as a fidget spinner it works but it does not do what is promised therefore it is broken I am waving my hands around randomly, though you probably can't see that. All right, let's turn the light back on. I would be using a different finger, but I don't want to get this video demonetized, so I'll just put this back in the box and forget I ever saw it. Well, so far, I haven't seen anything that particularly wows me. I mean, they say that this crate is worth a hundred bucks, and I'm not calling them liars, but it is not a hundred dollars worth to me. Let's see if something in here changes my mind. And this is... Oh! Okay! Comic-Con, episode four of Fans Hope, featuring, featuring jo Stan Lee and Joss Whedon. Spurlock's best film yet. For Spurlock, I think I've heard that name before. Exclusive minifigures of who's apparently in this movie. I have not heard of this movie. Um, I know about the Mark Hamill Comic Con. Is that is that what this is? Oh no, 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 no. It is So I've heard of the Mark Hamill Comic Con movie, and that was pretty good, but this is not that. What is this? I have never heard of this. <clears throat> so much fun, it'll make you want to glue your Spock ears on permanently. Um, I'll take your word for that. Have you ever imagined a place where Vulcans and vampires get along? Uh, well, there was that Star Trek episode where the vampire tried to eat Spock, but could not because Spock's blood was toxic to it. Uh, so you could technically say that they could get along because the vampire can't eat him. So if they were ever put into a situation, uh, whatever, where, where wizards and Wookiees can be themselves. Well, Star Wars is already space wizards meeting up with Wookiees. So that's sort of already happened. <laughs> Welcome to San Diego Comic-Con. What started as a fringe comic book convention for 500 fans has grown into the pop culture event of the year that influences every form of entertainment, now attended by over 1,400 strong... No, 140,000 strong. Hmm. Comic-Con, episode f 4 of Fans Hope, a film by Morgan Spurlock, explores this, in this amazing cultural phenomenon by following the lives of five attendees as they descend upon the ultimate geek mecca at San Diego Comic-Con 2010. Great. So it's it's not even in date. It's a very antiquated Comic Con movie. Well, of course it's antiquated. Of course it's old. It has Stan Lee in it. Special features, extended interviews with Stan Lee, Joss Whedon. You, you spell it Joss Whedon there. It's Joss Whedon, people. Kevin Smith, Ellen Page, Harry Knowles, and others. Um, only about one or two of those I would actually want to see an interview with. Uh, behind the scenes, trailer, deleted scenes, a real collectible from movie fans. Well, I guess I'm not a movie fan then. All right, so let's see. 
let's see. When was this made? When was this? 2012. Hmm. Well, at least it is a slightly vintage collectible then. I, like I say, I've never seen this, but I'm going to assume that this is just one of those uh, documentaries that tries to be a little more than a documentary. Like, once again, that that Mark Hamill Comic-Con movie, that which I believe it was called Comic Book the Movie, and that Trekkies documentary, that Trekkies 2 documentary. There was a Brony documentary, wasn't there? A Brony documentary that took place at a convention. I've only heard about that. And I'm and the brony, from what I understand, the brony audience is so sparse now that you couldn't even get get enough of them in, enough of them together who are interested in making a documentary to make another documentary. <sighs> so yeah, I'm assuming that those are two of the fans from the. Or wait a minute, no, that's Stan Lee. That is a Stan Lee figure there here. At least I think it is. Hmm. Hmm. Is that one of the fans, or is that... I'm going to assume it's that guy. Red-haired Irish guy. Looking for his lucky charms. I apologize. And... Okay, so yeah, I haven't seen this. Maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I'll watch it, but I am not opening this one. I will go find a used copy so that I don't ruin the pristineness of this. And I don't know if it's worth anything. But I will, I will keep it in my inventory just to see. And if it's not worth anything, I'll still, I, I'll probably just put it, I'll just probably just give it to the thrift store, not like not even open it for myself because I have no use for it. But once again, I'm sure somebody will collect these things. All right, so at least that was interesting. At least that was not a chia pet or a fidget spinner. At least that's something that you would see, I would want to see in one of these bat on one of these boxes. So, ooh, ooh, okay, this is nice. Ooh, okay, these are Loot Crate pins, but you would never guess. These are very nice Loot Crate pins. These are reproductions of Activision Atari games. Ooh, ooh, and again, I say, ooh, I like these. Okay, we got River Raid. Um, Let's see, River Raid, that's the plane flying over the water, shooting down the boats. Everyone's trying to shoot him, and you keep crashing into things within within five seconds of booting the game up. It's not one of my favorites, but I know that it has a fan base. Pitfall, everyone loves a little bit of Pitfall. Everyone, everyone has played Pitfall. I have played Pitfall. I have never beaten it. I have beaten Pitfall 2. Those are all the Pitfall games that I've played. Kaboom! That's that thing that needs the paddle controller. Never really got into that, but it is a little fun. It, it's it's ridiculously difficult. You have this very small area in which to catch the bombs, and then and if you don't catch the bomb, then the wall shortens, just making things harder. Well, it, it has its fans. It has its fans. But ooh, this is. This is something I might have to keep for myself. Here we go. This is something that I want. Not for a hundred bucks, but it's something included in a hundred dollar crate that I would want to keep. I may have to open these and stick them with my other pins. Yeah, I'm not really an Atari guy. I, I actually just sold my ColecoVision with the Atari attachment because it will not work on my HDTV. And, you know, nowadays you can... You can uh, flash one of those Atari, those new Atari flashback consoles and put all the ROMs on it, inclu including ColecoVision ROMs. At least that's what I've heard. I have not tried it yet, but I will. But yeah, really good. Really, really good. Luke Crate, you have outdone yourself here. Uh, 2000, when, when was this again? March, 2018. Well, March, 2018, I, I wish that I bought a loot crate in March, 2018, because that must've been one of the greatest crates of all time. Also, I do not know what I'm talking about half the time. So who knows? All right. Uh, next alien versus predator loot crate. Oh, it's a Titans vinyl figure of Alien vs. Predator. And judging by the size, I am going to guess that it is... Oh. Oh, it's a blind box. I, I thought that it was going to have both the Alien and the Predator in there. Loot Crate exclusive. Oh, that, prob that might mean that whatever's in here might be worth a little bit. 2015, yeah, it's an older one. 
I have not seen Alien vs. Predator. I actually haven't seen... I've seen more Predator than Alien, sadly. I've only seen the first Alien movie, which was really good. Really good. The hype is there. And then Predator, I saw the first movie. I think it's overrated. I was at, I actually fell asleep during the beginning, and then, I don't know, it's, it's just uh, military guys go blow up a village, and then the alien comes and kills them, and then Schwarzenegger kills the alien. And he shouts, get to the chopper! And I've just, I've just summed up, summed up the entire movie. And then Predator 2, I think is under, I think is underrated. I really liked Predator 2. I really liked the detective look, uh, trying to find the alien murdering all the people type thing. I thought Danny Glover was a much better actor than Arnold Schwarzenegger. I really liked the themes. I really liked the ending. I really liked how the alien, the a alien predator guys respected Danny Glover for his pursuit. And, yeah, it was really good. And then I saw Predators. That was awful. And apparently they made another Predator movie recently. And from what I hear, it's an absolute embarrassment for everyone involved. As what as was the original, as was the recent Alien movie that recently came out. <clears throat> So, but yeah, I have not seen Alien vs. Predator. From what I hear, the first movie is really good, and the second movie is Dumpster dumpster Fire. Alright, so we can have Ripley, Big Chap, Egg, Facehugger, Ripley Spacesuit, Kane Facehugger, Chicane Chestburst, Lambert, Dallas, Ash, Brett, and Parker. Well, these are all alien. They, oh, wait a minute... Okay, so does this is this just an advertisement for what's inside for a for a line that's coming up? These don't actually represent what's in this box. Okay, I'm curious now. I need to find out what's inside. I got my little opening dagger here. And I've just ruined the collector's value. What is in here? It's big. It is big. I very rarely see these big vinyl blind bag figures. So what do we have inside? Oh. Ooh. So I'm, I'm guessing that this does represent what's inside then. But we did get the alien. We did get the xenomorph, also known as the big chap. I'm going to assume that that's what they called these alien guys when they were making the movie. They didn't quite come up with the xenomorph name yet. I could be talking out of my butt, but that's nothing new. Really well molded. Uh, hmm. I was expecting a rubber head, but no, it's it's solid. The body is a little more rubbery than the head. The arms are the most rubbery. And then we have that... Oh, no, no. This is, this is the most rubbery. This uh, this little attachment. This, this little uh, extension of the body. I don't know why they made it an attachment. I don't know why they put it on last like this. But um, really good. Really good craftsmanship. Really, if I had to, if I had to keep one of these vinyl figures, then this would be it. So, hmm. I'm gonna check on eBay, see if these are worth anything, and if these are not worth anything, I might just have this guy hanging around. All right, you go, you go, and you. No, he didn't face hug. No, he he shoved eggs down people's throats. That's it. So you go find a throat to shove eggs down. Okay. Anyway. Okay, I'm having fun again. Now, what, what do we have next? Ooh. Ooh, a, a Minecraft... What is this? Fishing pole. Fishing rod. A pin. Okay. Once again, really good. Um, I stopped playing Minecraft quite a while ago. I used to be really big on Minecraft. I used to really like... I used to really enjoy that game. And then one day I beat the, end dra the Ender Dragon for like the millionth time. And then I just sat back and asked, why am I playing this? What, what is the end goal? What am I getting out of this? And I stopped. So yeah, I haven't picked up Minecraft in quite a while. Uh, they do have PvP and other battle modes, from what I understand. They have like race things and battle things now. But uh, for one, well, one, my internet is 
horrible. And for two, I just haven't really gotten into multiplayer stuff. But this, this is really good. Like I say, if this, if they didn't put their loot, their loot box game, their loot box branding on this, I would never know that this was a monthly pin. Hmm. Really good. I don't think I'm going to keep it, but I'm sure somebody will. Maybe I'll give it to this guy I know who likes pins. Uh, 2016 Mojang. Uh, when did Microsoft buy Minecraft? I don't see anything on here that says Microsoft, so I'm assuming sometime after this pin. All right, you go over there and be, well, frankly, one of the most useless tools in the game. Who needs a fishing rod in the game? Uh... Oh, I've seen one of these. I think I've actually I think I've actually shown off one of these before. This is a Captain America Hydra pin. Yes, yes, I have shown off these in an, in, a, in another in another video. I don't remember if these are worth anything. I'm not going to open this one because I have opened it in a in another video, and I want to keep this as mint as possible so that I can sell them. Did I sell the other one? I do not remember, but I will still hold on to it until I figure out what to do with it. That was easy. Oh, oh God. Oh, and speaking of things that I am not into... So this is My Little Pony, except it is not the My Little Pony that everybody went crazy over a couple years later, then decided to hate a couple years after that, and now everyone has almost completely forgotten about it because they have moved on to... What is the latest show nowadays? Uh, Steven Universe ended, Star vs. the Forces of Evil ended, Gumball ended. What is everyone crazy about today? I don't know. I don't really follow modern modern uh video or modern tv anymore but anyway this isn't the one that everyone knows and loves this is of course the vintage the original 1980s my little ponies you know when well the show that was actually more about friendship and love and uh girl power and all that sort of stuff instead uh, than the than the more recent my little pony stuff so obviously this is just a set of diaries you have the Big diary, you have Okay, yeah, this is it this is just a smaller diary. You have the smaller diary and then you have the keychain diary. And that's long and short of it. Um what else do I say? It's my little pony. They we have very chubby ponies all on the way to the glue factory, I am assuming. And or may, maybe the Rainbow Factory. If you want to sleep tonight, please do not Google the Rainbow Factory. But uh, yeah, I have no use for it. I have absolutely no idea who would have a use for it. So you go over there and think about how friendship brings you chocolate pudding or whatever it is. And I just saw the next one. <laughs> 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 okay, but at least it's something that I can do something with. It's a My Little Pony Applejack. Again, old Applejack, the vintage Applejack. Head knockers, hand-painted. So at least this is something that I know somebody would want. At least this is something I can probably sell that somebody will actually pick up. Uh, 2003, so once again, this is before the Loot Crate, the loot crate acquisition, or even Loot Crate in general. And it's just pictures of the pony. That's all it is. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. In the, in the words of Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. How about we just wiggle here? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, you go over there, and I already made the Friendship is Magic joke, and I have no other jokes to make about the show, so I will not make a joke. Instead, we will move on to... Ooh. Oh. Oh, I was going, ooh, we actually got a figure, and then I was, oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is so big I have to move the camera a little bit here. Well, okay, at least it's a quality figure. At least it's it's a collector's figure. We, you got the Harry Potter looking all um, looking all 18 when he's supposed to be four, 14, 15, something like that. 
We got the Hedwig, who also seems to grow in size with every movie. We got the wand, and we got the stand for the owl, from what I understand. Exclusive Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix figure. I'm sure this is worth a buck nine. Harry Potter and Hedwig, and that is all that it is. That's, that's all the information we get. We don't even get a blurb or anything. There is very little information on this box. Absolutely nothing to point out, except we could also get Harry, Hermione, Ron, and... Oh, I had a joke and it just escaped me. Serious. Serious Black, the uh, guy who was set up to be Harry Potter's godfather and a very important figure. And then he dies about a book later. That's that's basically the book series in a nutshell, as well as the ser as the series of Lost. You know, they set up all all these figures who you think is going to be who you think are going to be important, and then they're dead a couple episodes later. That is also a good description of The Walking Dead. Anyway, Harry Potter, Hedwig, uh, original NECA real toys branding or exclusive figure. I have no use for it. I'm sure somebody will. Let's see if it's worth. Well, anything. Anything I sell these for will still be a profit. I mean, I got... Oh, was that it? Oh, no, 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 no. I still have a couple more things. Um, I'm just going to reach into the box. Is that it? Okay, I think I just grabbed everything out, everything else out of that box. Let's just go over everything else quickly. We, it's, it's all very small stuff. We have a Batman Metal Batwing Keychain Stealth Edition from QMX, Loot Crate exclusive. So this is a Loot Crate thing. In the moonlit night of Gotham City, the Caped Crusader keeps watch from the cockpit of the Batwing. With its menacing silhouettes, the Batman Stealth Aircraft... The Batman, st the Batman stealth aircraft strikes fear in the villains who walk the streets of Gotham City. That is a very weird way to write that. <laughs> Especially with the uh, capitalized Batman there. So the, uh, what, how I was reading it was, with its menacing silhouettes, the Batman... And then and I thought it was a full stop, but no, it keeps going. Stealth Af oh, crap, ad, but whatever. Take this Dark Knight iconic plane with you on your next patrol with this meticulously detailed replica from QMX. I have no use for this. I'm sure there's somebody in the world who does. Um, as you can see, it is a, it's just a black Batwing Batmobile thing. I, is this from a specific kind of Batman? Is this, is this from the comics or the movies or the games? No, it's just generic Batwing. Hmm. Well, I'm sure somebody, I'm sure somebody wants this. I'm not a huge Batman fan. I mean, he's pretty good. The Arkham City games are pretty good. The uh, Tim Burton movies are classic. The Christopher Nolan movies are okay. And then the uh, Ben the Ben Affleck Batman movies are not well. Ben Affleck as Batman is is okay. I, I guess I should say because the movies he is in are crap. And then we have Robert Patterson as the Batman, and everyone is really freaking out about that because they're saying, no, we don't want Edward from Twilight as Batman, completely passing over that it is not Edward from Twilight. It is the guy play who played Edward from Twilight now playing Batman. And honestly, think about it. Think about it. The Batman is supposed to be this dark, menacing loner who tries to show no emotion, pushes, peop pushes people away and uh, w without wanting a serious relationship, and fights night creatures. How does that not describe the Twilight series? So, yeah, I'm, I might actually have to check that out. I know my sister is going to see it, and I might have to accompany her. Ugh... <sighs> Another pin, Luke Gaming collectible, collectible pin of Metal Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. More specifically, uh, I believe this is th this version first appeared in Sonic CD, the game that everyone says is the best Sonic game ever, but nobody has ever actually played it because it was only on the Sega CD. And nobody, even on emulators, nobody has played the Sega CD. It was on a, a compilation or two of Sonic games, but... Those are rare and out of print, from what I understand, and it's just barely been released since then. Well, some, sometimes it's been released as a port, as a standalone port, but again, just I've heard a lot of people, people talk about it. I have not seen anyone play it. 
So everyone's just talking about how great it is without knowing how great it is. Kind of like America in that regard. I don't even... I, that joke didn't even make sense to me, sorry. How to train your dragon loot... Okay, no, no, not, not, as, not as impressed with this one. All you did was take a take a shaped pin and stick a JPEG of the toothless dragon on there. No, no, not, not, imp not as impressed with this one. I also, I am not, I am also not a fan of how to train your dragon. I, I think it's an overrated movie. It's everything I've ever seen before with all the embarrassing mistakes and, but it is popular. It spawned like three or four or five movies and a million TV shows and a million TV specials. And it's still going what I understand is still going. It's DreamWorks. It's the next Shrek for DreamWorks, which is, which has also not stopped. In fact, I believe that they are making a Shrek 5, and I am not excited to see that because the last two Shrek movies were absolutely god-awful. So, not a fan of this one. It's probably not worth anything. I will try to pawn it off, and then I will just toss it in the thrift pile. Okay, I know what this is. Guardians of the... Oh, Oh, no, no, it's not Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a Transformers thing. A trans... Oh, it's for tra Transformers Bumblebee. They're pins. They're pins inside here. Okay, this is one time where I am going to open it up because I do want to see what's inside. Yep, we got the Bumblebee. We got the... Uh, we got the Autobots logo on fire. And then we got the Bumblebee as the bug. Does he actually transform into a bug into this one? Because he doesn't transform into a bug in the other in the other movies, from what I understand, because of the the auto manufacturer would not let them use their model because they did not want their model associated with war. Because it is already associated with war and Nazi Germany, from what I understand. Okay. Uh, no, have, I've only seen the first two Transformers movies, and that's one... Tra no, that's two Transformers movies too much, I, th I think I just say. But Bumblebee, uh, but Transformers Bumblebee, I heard, is actually really good. I'm probably not going to see it, but I am one day going to see the Asylum knockoff called Hornet, because I own that one. But considering where I am in that retrospective, that's probably not going to be for a long while yet. And finally... Finally... Finally, yep, finally, an X-Files I want to believe. Uh, I'm guessing this is just a little sketch pad. I, it, it's uh, plastic, it's sealed in plastic, so I'm not going to open it up. 2018 X-Files, just a little tiny pocket notebook from what, I, from what it looks like. And, well, if you, if you like the X-Files and you like writing stuff down in X-Files themed notebooks, then here you go. And there you go. That is all the stuff that I got in a $100 loot crate. Or $100... Um, what, what should I call it? A $100 kid robot... A $100 loot crate kid robot NECA overstock box. Okay, let's just call it a $100 NECA overstock box. And... Well, actually, I am pretty impressed. I do think that there was $100 worth of stuff. I mean, obviously, the pins, the, the pins weren't really worth that much. But then we had the My Little Pony head knocker. Uh, we had the... We had the little notebooks. We had the vinyl figure, the alien vinyl figures. And we had... What else do we have? There was the DVD. That was kind of worth something. Uh, maybe the Batman thing will be worth something. And then, of course, we had the fidget spinner, but that was just filler. I can forgive them for that. And then there was the... What I can't forgive them for is the Chia Pet. That is un... that is inexcusable. That is a huge item, took up a lot of space in the box, and it is expired on top of everything else. So I cannot even sell it. I have no idea who would ever want something like that. So... <sighs> But I do believe that this is worth $100. Will I get $100 out of it from selling stuff? Probably not. But technically, I got this I got this box for free. Completely for free. Everything in here was for free because all I had to do was redeem a coupon and they sent me the box. I didn't even have to pay shipping or handling. Just They sent me a $100 worth of stuff.
Which I get kind of sounds suspicious. So why are they why are they basically giving these boxes out for free? Especially a hundred dollars worth of stuff. So to me that says well that either says that NECA is going under or Loot Crate is going under or they or they legitimately have a warehouse that is just so full of stuff that they can't possibly get rid of any other way. Maybe a mixture of all three. Who knows? They. I don't believe that they announced anything that they are shutting down or re reorganizing or anything. But well, whatever the reason, I am. I have to thank you very much, NECA, for sending me this one hundred dollar box, and I will see what I can do with the stuff. I do have a lot of ideas already, and if I can get another one of these boxes, well, I will show you, and I will. I, we will see where that goes, and. Ah, I'm satisfied. I am I am satisfied. That is something very hard to do, but I am happy with what I got in the box. Mostly. So good night, everybody. Dream of xenomorphs. Enjoy.